My name's Tessa and I convene a module called Health Economics. Health Economics is all about value, efficiency and behaviour in health and healthcare. And it's increasingly used by decision makers around the world to ensure that they get value for money from the scarce resources that they have available for healthcare. So this is a module which is highly relevant regardless of what type of public health career you go forward to have. The module runs for 12 weeks and it consists, consists of 12 three-hour lectures with lots of practical exercises thrown in to consolidate your learning. It runs in two distinct parts. The first part of the module is six weeks long and covers basic economic concepts and how they are applied in health and healthcare. It covers things like how can we go about financing healthcare in the most efficient way? It looks at how we can apply economic theory to health behaviour. So, for example, using economic theory to explain why people do or don't access curative or preventive healthcare, or how the, why they choose to engage in unhealthy behaviours such as smoking or drinking alcohol. The module also looks at the relationship between health and the economy. So does economic growth contribute to increased health in the general population or conversely does improved health in the population contribute to economic growth? So that's the first part of the module and the second part of the module deals with economic evaluation in healthcare. So this is a concept that some of you may have come across already. It looks at cost effectiveness of health interventions. So generally speaking, do those health interventions offer value for money? So this part of the module deals with study design, the types of data that are used in these economic evaluations. And in, in particular, it teaches students how they can conduct a critical appraisal of published economic evaluations. So that's a really useful skill, regardless of where you go with your public health career in the future, because economic evaluations are increasingly used in decision making around the world. The assessment for the module is in two parts. The first part is a group presentation, which is a critical appraisal of an economic evaluation. That accounts for 10% of the module mark. The second part of the assessment is a two and a half hour written exam. That accounts for 90% of the module mark. And in that exam, you'll have to write uh, some, some essays based on both the first part and the second part of the module. Generally speaking, health economics can sound a little bit daunting, but this module really starts with the basics and, and builds up with lots of practical exercises and homework exercises to help you consolidate your learning. So I really don't think you need to be int intimidated by this, this module at all, and it really does have the potential to be very useful to you in your future careers. If you've got any questions for me, please don't hesitate to get in touch with me, and I'll try to answer those questions as best as I can.